Hello everybody, it's OCD Mikey Squirrel here, jumping around again, jumping up and down, taking things in and out, doing the whole dance, song and dance, so you guys can enjoy Hi-Fi, just like I do, and I'm happy to do it. Okay, so what do we have today? We've got something called the Puritan. Now, this is a big step for me because normally I just shun any sort of power conditioner. Um, I run good, clean AC power from dedicated lines and um, isolated lines, and, and I don't bother with these things because I find that um, a lot of times, especially if they have transformers on them, they will clamp dynamics. Well, the, this uh, company evidently has a special type. They're like coils um, that are, it's almost like a loosely wound transformer. The kind of, and instead of doing it all tight on one big transformer, they put it on several looser transformers. So well, this is how I see it uh, in succession, like in series, and it accomplishes the same thing, but without clamping dynamics. Um, and uh, among other things, uh, but uh, this, uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm going to give it a shot. I've heard about this thing and just thought, why not? Let's give it a shot and see what happens and we'll listen. So we will listen on the rig here. The first thing we'll do and it will be, we'll be listening. So we'll have the front end, the NAT audio, this top of the line preamp. This thing's incredible. Um, and then the Marchand um, crossover to help divide this out into threes because we, we are triamping. Um, this is biamping that panel. And then this uh, sub has its own plate amp. Okay, so um, what we'll do is we'll first we'll play a selection of music just through the front end, um, coming out of the wall, essentially, on a dedicated line. And um, so it's kind of interesting. You can see it's uh, it's got these uh, sort of, these are to keep them, you know, keep dust out, I guess. But sometimes it's weather if these are outdoor type things. But they're pretty, they look pretty sturdy. Um, and um, what I'm going to do with this, because there's nothing on the front panel, this is exactly how I'm going to put it behind my rack. I've got some rubber feet that I'm going to put underneath the front panel, and I'm going to set it behind my rack just like that, and then just set the, the plug in. And, and they send it with a cup, it comes with one of their power cords, um, and, and they, they call it, I don't know, some special something or other, and we'll see. We can play with the power cord, listen to that. Um, I think I... Don't know if I have a, I don't have a grand illusion with the 20 amp right now, but it's got the 20 amp inlet as you can see, which kind of funny. It has the 20 amp inlet, but then it says right here, maximum, uh, maximum combined level 15 amps. So then this is more like for visual. You know, it's not really needed, um, but, and it's actually better. It, 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 um, I, I, and people say it grips better, you know, than the other ones. Um, I don't know, man. I think. There, I, I kind of, I kind of like wish there was something different than either of them that like had a lock on it, you know. Twist lock, I like. I like anything twist lock, anything that has a locking mechanism, um, like BNC and stuff like that, just because it's just so much more professional, um, you know. And and you know, it's 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 seated properly. So we've got this here too. This is the green ground. Now I have not. Um, set up my my ground i have the you know safety ground of course is in on the plug you know but um this is probably a chassis i can look in there and see if it's if it's chassis ground uh or if it actually goes to uh to the um well there is no real pcb and yeah, there's a pcb in there okay so anyways um we could try an additional ground i've got a grounding box um i have a ground uh ground rods right outside that back wall there there's some ground rods in the, in the ground eight foot down um and they're uh and then i've got uh, the wires running in i just have to run them over to this wall and put them there and then i can tap everything i want off the un uh, off the rack there and put it in, uh, under that under the uh, the earth the ground you know okay so um let's uh let me get this set up and um we'll uh, we'll listen to some a song or two and then and then we'll get this thing in there so um hold on i'll be right back okie dokie i am back now ready to put this uh power conditioner in there the puritan and um let's see i think we'll start with some strapping music hold on to your horses grab your woman Did we ever lose our minds and fall apart knowing we're the only ones to heal each other's hearts bring your love on back to me stop this insanity before we go 
too far How did we ever lose our way And try to say Love is a losing game Should have never tried to play Before we go too far song. So that should be enough for us to uh, to get a feel for uh, for how it's going to sound. Um, this is the deal, right? Chill. This puppy. So I'm going to go back there. I'm putting four feet on the front. I'm going to set it straight down like that, and then we're going to just plug everything into these plugs back here, and it's going to be all the front end components. So it's going to be the preamp, the, the um, crossover, the DAC, and the server. All the front end is going to be on this thing. Let's see if we can hear a difference now. Okay, here we go with uh, now the uh, Puritan power uh, conditioner. Oops, let me get this straight. Is in place. And let's listen. Stop this insanity, boy. 
before we go too far. How did we ever lose our way and try to say love is a losing game? Should have never tried to play. Before we go too far Okay, so, uh, um, did you hear what I heard? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then did pitch, you, it's it definitely cleared up, it cleared up, it cleared up everything, although did you notice like a little, like the, um, on the upper mid, like, um, might be a little edgier than before. Yeah, maybe. Did you notice that? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so, everything was cleaned up, um, it seemed, everything sounded cleaned up on this end, um, Although, like, okay, on Guns of Brixton, when they have, like, the reprise or whatever, you know, the, that thing, the end, you know, whatever, where it gets, like, kind of harsh right there, that's an indicator. If, it's, if, the, if the rig is leaning harsh at all, that kind of bothers. It gets you, it grates on you. And that got me. I did not have that reaction when I listened to it without the conditioner. But when we put it in, then that, um, that kind of mid-glare kind of thing... Um, kind of stood up like the hairs on the back of my neck, kind of like, Arr, you know, nails on a chalkboard type thing in that song. Now, th that song exacerbates that part of the frequency spectrum. So I, I, I expect it there, but I can tell if it's a little, if it's a little much, I'll, 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 I'll it'll, it'll, it'll bug me, you know, um, otherwise it's just kind of like, uh, I don't like it, but, um, but other times it'll, that one, it like, it was like, um, it caused a reaction in my, in my body. Um, and I pooped myself. No, I'm kidding. Um, it was, uh, and then, and then on the, um, and then in the, what was it? Uh, this, oh, Tin Pan Alley. Um, uh, where did I, did I, did I, I thought I heard it in there somewhere too. It's something, um, what, what I think it needs to do is break in. It's brand spanking new. So I'm going to leave it in for a few days and I'll report back and let you know if it got better. Um, because maybe it's just a little, it's, it's also just went in. That's the other thing. So maybe it's got to, you know, charge, um, up a, a bit and sort of break in a, t a touch and be in there at least a couple hours before we get the, um, before it's kind of up at, you know, temperature and, and, and it's kind of warm and, and, and things are cooking along. Um, so we're going to listen to some tunes and I'll report back and let you guys know what I found. Um, um, and also we're going to try, I think we should try pulling those plate amps out, put the plate amps into that thing too, and see if it tightens up the bass at all. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. And then furthermore, also, we should run the ground. I've got a ground rod um, with the wire in. We can run it out that door there and just bring it around and put it on the grounding pin. Okay, we're going to try a few things, see if we can make it better. But right off the cuff, it was definitely clearer. Like instantaneously, you could hear more clear um, and distinct uh instruments and vocals were just kind of popping off 
uh, uh, a black background a little bit better than they were before. It was noticeable, more noticeable now. So, um, so that was cool. Um, and, and I think we just need to give it a little time uh, to see if it comes around because I just have the feeling it's brand spanking new. It's cold. We just put it in. It doesn't have the grounding thing on there. Um, we can try that later anyways. Um, like, first I want to know if it does it without the ground. It's got a ground pin on the back. And I've got a special ground, which is an actual grounding rod right outside that back wall there, or the front wall there. And that should give it some killer uh, quietness. Um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll be back. See you. Okay, so now we are going to check it out of the Puritan. That's where I plugged it in, right down there. Puritan. What? No way. What the hell? <laughs> There's no freaking way, dude. Wow. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to pull this back out of the Puritan, put it into the dedicated line. Now, I haven't touched the damn thing. I'm going to put, okay, that says 20, 20. It reads out at 19.9. Now I'm going to put it into the house AC wiring that's just straight to the house panel. 158.5. Now I'm going to put it into the Puritan. Not a freaking thing, man. Wow. Okay, so if that isn't proof right there that this thing works, I don't know what the hell is. <laughs> I don't even think I need to let it break in. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I verified, by the way, um, that is an ama that, that's really amazing. That is amazing. Um, wow. Um, what I was going to say is I, uh, I verified today with the, um, the distributor that uh, for, for Puritan – that um, there is, in fact, a break-in. I, I knew it, you know, and he said two, two weeks is a break-in period, and he said you're hearing exactly what um, everybody hears, you know, which is that there is a glare in the mid, in the upper mid, um, but that goes away, and I thought so. I know, I know better. I know that kind of a glare uh, sound can many times be, um, can be break-in, you know. It sounded like, like uh, the harshness that comes from um, components that aren't broken in, you know? So anyways, there is the, uh, the proof is in the pudding, right? I mean, the proof is seriously in the pudding on that one. Um, so I'm selling these things and I've got them, um, become a, go to 11 stereo.com one, one S T E R E O and, uh, sign on for, uh, as, as a hi-fi tribe member. Um, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. And essentially, basically, it's just you just agree not to be a douche and uh, and that you put uh, uh, music before the gear and that you're not going to you're going to have fun and not be just, you know, you're going to help the new people understand once you learn how about hi-fi, you're going to teach people and just be cool because it's. We're creating a cool atmosphere for hi-fi, unlike it's been my whole life. Um, I mean, there's cool pockets for sure, don't get me wrong, but generally speaking, you know, the arrogance and the, and the BS is, is a little too much. So um, anyways, become a hi-fi tribe member and you will get unique and different pricing that comes direct from my mouth is not published. Um, but come on and bring it. Okay, so there's two ver versions. There's 36 and the 56. There, even just get a 36, no matter what, get a 36. It's like, I think they're like, uh, I'll have to tell you the prices. They're like, uh, I think one's a thousand and one's like 2000. If I'm not mistaken, I should really check that out. I'm going to check it out and then I'll come back to you. But either way, if you don't have a power conditioner, this one doesn't have, it doesn't clamp dynamics. It does not have uh, a transformer in the path, you know, so it's not going to clamp your dynamics. That's all I was ever worried about is not having the dynamics. Cause if you've ever had one, like even some good ones, 
they have transformers and, and they regenerate the power. But if there's noise on the line that's common mode noise, it just recreates the noise on the other end of it. It rebuilds it. So um, <laughs> it does no good. You saw that, man, zero, zero, zero. So at least get yourself one of the less expensive ones. You need something. You need something on your AC power uh, for sure. Um, and uh, and it looks like this is the, 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 the new fresh thing that it, that is they finally got it where it doesn't clamp your dynamics which is huge so um i highly recommend one of these pieces um and the difference between the two not only is price but it is one has more steps of filtration so the one that i have there is a 56 and that is like um i don't know it's got like maybe it's because it's got 56 points of filtration and then the other one's a 36 because it has 36 points of filtration um, but, uh, um, do it, do it. I mean, seriously, we heard the, it get, it get better. Um, definitely cleared things up. The hash went away. You really, you, you have no idea what you, you have distortion on your rig until you take it away. And then you realize what noise is, you know, once it's gone. So highly recommended. All right. Well, I will see you later.